Still sick, my apologies. Uh, I'll be doing my best. I want to play some more of this really bad. And, uh, yeah, uh, it's in, like, my ears now, dude. Like, no, no kidding. Uh, my stupid stuffed up face has shifted to my ears now. So now I, like, can't hear anything. Oh, my God, man. Oh, my God. So, anyway, hi, chat. Blowing my nose all day long. It's a having a great time, right? I'm just having a great time. Uh, uh, okay. Uh, oops, wrong thing. That was weird. Hold on a sec. Hold on a second. Is this right after the demo? Uh, no. Technically, this is uh the second part of the demo. I think we just got to the second part of the demo. Let me just take a sip of this. Hold on a second. Oh, that's so good. Okay. No coffee, just tea. Just tea today. Yeah, this is technically the iconic challenge. Everyone's asking if I'm playing performance or quality. To be honest, I've been switching it up. I've actually been changing it. Right now, we're obviously on uh, performance. But I have been actively changing it right uh we'll keep it out of sub mode for now we'll see how the chat behaves whippy ice thank you happy ff16 day we made it yeah no shit we actually we actually didn't make it quality mode is really good quality is like a solid 30 fps for almost like the entire game is what it seems like this is the full game this is the full game yes um but the uh performance mode is obviously still about the same as the demo it's a bit blurry the cutscenes are always at 30. Exactly. Cutscenes are always going to be at 30. Is this the day one patch? Uh, I wouldn't expect if there was a day one patch. And I don't know if there has been. Hang on a second. No, I don't think this has included any patch. Uh, I wouldn't expect performance to increase that much. All right, here we go. They added day minus two patch. Interesting. Um, I, I think the cutscene resolution stays the same. Uh, although somebody from that watched the full Digital Foundry video, I didn't get a chance to see it, would have to maybe tell me if that's true. Am I enjoying it? It's very good. Yeah. Motion Blur Toggle will probably be online for about a month, considering how long it takes for some of those things to come on. Uh, if you're waiting for motion blur, you might be waiting a bit longer. That'll, that's like a whole different option in menu setting, and they'll have to go through certification and all that crazy shit to get that in here. Okay. All right, here we go. They're all empty. And you're going to give up. Sid, this gate. Yeah, Ralph uh, in Innocent, is that his name? Need some help. I talked with him for like 30 minutes. Uh, him and the actors of uh, a couple other actors from the game as well. Talked about a lot of industry stuff, you know? Talked about AI and all that stuff. Talked about the writer strike, you know? I always, it's funny, I always get a kick out of talking to actors because it's where I grew up. I grew up in, uh, you know, performing arts and theater, even though I wasn't an actor. And my, I have an entire family of actors, uh, even, although that didn't end up being my thing. Um, but yeah, I was like, I was able to strike conversation with them probably the easiest of any of like the professionals because they're actors. Like, they love, they love talking about their craft, they love hearing about it. It was genuinely fun. Unfortunately, yes. I act all the time, yes, but I'm untrained. So, you know. Doesn't really count. Hey, how's it going? Good news, right? search is over. Clear this out. Poopy, get him. Oh, 
It's always hard to see everything in this area. It's so dark. Damn, that guy got toasted. Alright, let's move through. We know what to do. We've done this before. What's the story so far? Here's a quick recap. Um, at the beginning of the game, Clive's brother and his uh, family, his, his house is essentially uh, taken over by the Harkonnens. So his brother is killed in the process, is murdered in front of his eyes by another icon of fire. And we are on the hunt 13 years later for my brother's murderer. The Harkonnens. <laughs> How about a window? Harkonnen? Huh? Yeah, the only thing that's missing is the spice. It was the icon of fire. We don't know. We've s so here's here's the weird part. Uh, all of our interpretation from the trailers and the marketing has led us to think that the icon of fire is Clive. But so far in the story, it's actually somebody else. He has a name. I forget what it is. Uh, but it's a, it's like a hooded, cloaked dude with a lady that travels with him, and they're currently under the, uh, imprisonment of the Imperial Empire. So, we don't know who that is, who killed Clive's brother. Going down. Going up. All this stuff is actually usable for me now. I'm going to tell you, chat, if we're going to start seeing uh, predictions and things in the chat about what's going on in the story, uh, you know, we're going to go into a sub mode extremely quick. So that's all we got right now. Just letting you know. All I can tell you is that I already ran into Cloud. I already ran into Aerith. I ran into, uh, you know, Sabin from Final Fantasy VI already. Uh, Sabin died. He got hit by a train. Clouds in our party, like Final Fantasy Tactics, Aerith has already disappeared. That's all I can tell you. I don't want any spoilers, though. Magic! Damn, these guys are in here. Ah! Hold on this for me. Damn. All these guys are d dead. Is there a difficulty setting? Not at the start. The technically, so there is. Uh, you can play the game story mode or action focused. An action focus is technically like <clears throat> normal or the hardest you can play it. And the way you make the game easier is by using these ring of timely things, which make the action easier. So, uh, you know, for anybody that is used to action games, it's pretty easy so far. It's not... No, nothing that we're kind of specifically going through is inc incredibly challenging so far. Is it okay to give a suggestion about crafting? No, not until we actually... I ask, uh, here's, here's how anything backseating kind of works, chat. I will specifically ask you. I will specifically, like, search out information to be like, chat. How do I do this? If I'm like, huh, I wonder if we go up here, or I'm like, hey, uh, maybe we should go down there. I'm not talking to you, right? So no sack beating. Yeah, preferably not. For the sake of other people that have not been exposed to stuff, keep that sack beaded. Ooh, do I have the right stuff? I do. Uh, I'm going to take off Scarlet Cyclone. Uh, actually, I should see what I got points-wise. Uh, not much. I can't do anything with that. Uh, so weird only having one icon here, man. So Rising Flame, because we're on single target. This should be good. How's it going?
Nice. Guy's getting literally toasted. Shoot some fire at me or something. Damn it! Fine with me. Damn, this guy got slapped around. Oh, I'm, I'm, I mean, if I like the game, I'll definitely be trying New Game Plus. New Game Plus sounds really fucking exciting. Mastery of skills evolved gameplay a lot. Uh, well, the the skill mastery does add new things. Uh, healing potions by twenty percent. I barely heal, so I'm gonna do. Oh, that's for Scarlet Cyclone. Eh, never mind. Never mind. That's why we're getting that stuff here because we don't have anything else. All this bloody running. Right here. Uh, well guarded enemies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That guy died, man. See that poor dude? Ow. See this poor dude. Jesus. Get him, boy. Sicko, Togo. It helped. Jesus. Sucks to be that guy. Don't let them get away. Damn, it's getting juggled to shit. And they're all dead. So yeah, um Torgal is cool, man. Crazy cool what he can do once you start getting used to it. My end game volume a little low. Okay. <clears throat> um, hang on a sec, chat. No, I can't change anything on Torgal. Not as of right now. 234. 
Downward stab gives me what? Imbues blade with fire, increasing ability, potency, and range? Wow. That seems cool. Increases lunge distance. That seems like fun. Oh, sick. Okay. I'm down. The only way is through the chapel. Then Great Grieger must have plans for us. I think there's like a chest in here? Yeah. Crank up my brightness. Sheesh. for prayer, isn't it? Do I seem so desperate as to grovel at the feet of a false god? <laughs> I was waiting for you. Not for too long, I hope. All this for a midnight chat. Well, let's chat then. Where are the men and women you took from Lost Wing? You mean, where's the dominant? Well, we shall be requiring his services indefinitely. Come back to me, Sidolphus. I need you. Think of all the things we can create together. The world that we can build. You need me. <laughs> Your king needs me. I'm all for building a new world. Just not his. That bastard's dreams are as twisted as his promises are false. And I want no part of them. King Barnabas saved you, and this is how you speak of him. Have you no shred of loyalty? What? To a leader who'd use me? Like he uses you. You know nothing of me, Sidolphus. You're right. I don't know who you are anymore. Or what you want. I only know what you used to say. That you were tired of running. That you just wanted to be free. Free of it all. You weren't lying to me then, so what changed? What made you think you had to sacrifice who you were to get what you wanted? Sacrifice? I use my talents to my advantage, and you would tell me there is shame in that? If there's no shame, then why do you feel so sorry for yourself? A rousing speech, Lord Commander. I was a fool to believe you might have changed. The only person I feel sorry for is you! I can't do this anymore. Chat can fix her. If you would stand between our leash and his dream, then you leave me no choice. Goodbye, Sidolphus. Stand back, Clive.
finish them. Oi, Gabna. Well said. The beast is not three against one. You know what to do, boy. Oh God! Oh jeez! Impressive that all these are done in engine. See shit, Captain. Oh god damn I got the counter Let's go Heatwave is so sick man Magic counter is dope as hell All right Dude I think Heatwave no shit takes off half of their stam gauge It's insanely powerful Benedicta will be on her way to collect the Dominant, if she hasn't already. You can't afford to let them leave. Remember, she has wings, you don't. What about you? Before or after I catch my breath. Sorry. <sighs> uh, 
Come on, Toggle. Here we go. Damn, I can't remember which way is the right way and which way leads to stuff. This was the stuff way. Casual meteorite in a box. She must be here somewhere. Heat wave. Oh, God. Oh, God. About to kill things even faster. But I'm pretty sure I got a uh, ton of points. No, I really didn't. Shit. Big shit. Watching me juggle the shit out of his friend for like 30 hits. He's like looking at him, he's like, damn, fuck. He's been in the air for a long time. He ain't even impressed. Bullying the part timers. Puppies. gonna explodey this guy. Was this the way or was this the way? Why right? He hit me again! 
Who's healing? The portal is. That's good. That's good. Nothing else in here, right? Oh, I thought we could bust up this table. Whack. You took off a lot of health. Shit. High protein. Low protein. These enemies have more health. They're dying too fast. Bark, bark. What can I spend this on? These are all like hella expensive. What does this actually give me? Increases the distance. Okay. Charged magic is faster. This goes longer. Uh, extends the trigger window. That seems very nice, too. Okay, let's do this. I want to actually see some stuff that has a has a difference. Finally. <laughs> Here we go. Oi. I confess I expected more from the old man. And less from you. This is the second time you've bested my sisters. Men of your talents are rare indeed. Why cast your lot with such undesirables? If it is the hearth you long for, you will find more than enough warmth under my wings. You know exactly what I want. Hand over the dominant, and I'll leave you in peace. You would dare to make demands of me. Know your place, little lamb. Fool is the shepherd who heeds every bleat of the flock. And I will suffer yours no longer. <laughs> Must I spell it out for you, Branded? No one is listening. 
No one at all. Come, little lamb, to the slaughter with you. Let's poke everybody with this sword. Of this. Oh God. Wow. Shit. Shoot some magic at me or some shit, I dare you. Ow. Let's go. Yeah. Yeah. Ah. Okay. Where is he? I won't ask. The fight just started. Reference, yes, thank you. Let's go. Almost broke ten K. All right. Physics. Stay down. Oof. Oh, 
god. Dodge that, no problem. Let's go, dude. This move is cheap. Oh, God. Oh, it's cutscene. Jesus. to where it's ridiculous. <laughs> it's like, holy shit, that looks really painful. Big ass epic fight. I like it. Ooh, rising flame buff. Okay. You are but a branded. I, I, how? How did you do it? How did you even survive? How? The answer is simple, Benedicta. He was fighting for something he believed in. Shut up! Why aren't you dead? We've played your games. Now tell me where he is. Who? What are you? The goddamn Mega Man. Here's where the demo ends. Enough 
enough of this. What? She... She's gone. What... What's ha happening? Give her back! Give her back! Give her back! My lady! Where is she? Where is Garuda? Took it from her. How'd you do that? Fuck me. I hope the bear has found a way out. Clive, this place is ready to collapse, and I'd rather not be here when it does. If your dominant started this fire, and I'm betting he did, he'll be long gone. Damn it all. No explanation. What was that? I created a diversion as commanded, Your Grace. The villagers escaped in the confusion. As should we. Yes. Uh, uh, don't know what's going on there. Oh, look, morning has broken. And here come the cavalry. Itching to butcher the bastards who made him miss their morning gruel? Come on. If they catch us leaving a burning care, people might jump to conclusions. Right. Yeah, let's put sub mode back on, chat. Couldn't control themselves. The power of wind. I know how gouge works. Deadly embrace. Cool. I'll do the cycle. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm aware. Well, I'm aware. This place looks real pretty, too. Garuda channeled. Nice. Okay. Damn, 15. 40. Fuck. I only got 205. Man. Uh, which is the one... Gouge is like the crazy stun damage. Gouge and Wicked Wheel? Okay. Should be fun. Said you'd taken her power. You don't still have it, do you? I think I do. I can feel it. Can it's... you see it? Inside me, along with the flames. Well, I'm not keen to try out. What could possibly go wrong? Oops, sorry. This Imperial Captain just got his ass kicked. 
<laughs> Jesus. It's got totally ham blasted. Hey, you come here. Stabbies. Oh my god. There we go. Not a ton of damage. But you know. I gotta level up while getting slapped. Oh, Sid. Okay, thanks for taking care of, like, everything. like a big zone with, you know, very little in it, relatively speaking. You got any, like, nooks and crannies over here? Yeah, we do! Dang, I got rewarded for my cunning ingenuity. A gill bug. Thank you for that. There's fish! No fishing. Just want to be sure. Yeah, we got this now. Ooh, hell yeah. This really builds up the multiplier. Getting a couple of abilities and it's looking pretty crazy. Starting to look pretty crazy. Things are going down relatively fast. Good night, you. So, yeah, gouge is, uh, this one is really good to do, uh, will damage. And it's also good to build up hits because you, you don't immediately want to just dump all of your abilities into an enemy when they're staggered. Uh, you actually want to build up the multiplier. So there's like, it's like times 1.1, 1 1.2, 1 1.3, 1 4, 5. You have to hit them a whole bunch to build up the multiplier. And gouge is really good for that. This is fun. I get to run around and kick some dudes' asses around here. This is fun. There's this thing. Come here, you. Yeah. 
Damn. This guy getting barely juggled over here. What else we got? Anything? Another path. Uh, where is this going, huh? Let's see more stuff. This place is gorgeous. Yeah, it's not it's not much of an environment, like you know, gameplay wise. But damn, is it pretty though, right? I hope we have to come back to these areas and you know hunt notorious monsters and stuff like that. That's what I want. I think the only big technical downside for me is that zones like this are really pretty, but they don't run at 60, you know? That's the only technical downside for me, really. In fact, we can probably do something like this. You know, I've been switching this on and off. Make it look even a little bit better. Keep with a consistent frame rate. So is this more action-based combat? Absolutely. Yeah. That was their uh, intention from the very start. But there's a whole bunch of things in, in it that make it not have to uh, be as action-focused. Damn, the lighting here. Holy shit, dude. Holy, holy moly. Am I, am I the only one seeing this? Holy moly. God damn. Yeah, some of the lighting in this game is really impressive to me. I don't know. Some of it's a bit too dark at times, but some of it's like, God, this is crazy looking. Really? I ran my ass all the way over here for a potion and a closed door? Son of a bitch. Is that Luminous Engine? I don't even know if we know. I don't know if Square's using Luminous Engine for anything anymore. I really don't know. Man, not after Forspoken. I don't know if they've actually been candid about, you know what engine it is. They might not have spoken about that too much. Everyone's saying like modified FF14. I think that's the presumption, right? Is this a test bed for seven rebirth combat mechanics? No, absolutely not. Uh, FF7 is, has a lot more like RPG isms in its combat. It, it's, te it's a team game. So, if anything, FF7 kind of like set up the combat of this game to be the way it is. Yo, Moraine, thanks for the five gift subs. But FF7 is still really like RPG-like with stat management and all that stuff. This game doesn't have that as much. Even the developers uh, said like to my face on stage, they're like, hey, you know, if, if you see a really cool boss and you want to go fight them, your skill is what's holding you up from, from fighting that boss or defeating that boss. They said how uh, a player's skill should trump stats. And I'm like, okay, there, well, there you go. That's very like, in, in, in several situations, very anti-RPG, like where you have to like balance your stats to take on bosses and shit and be at a certain point. Uh, Cause yeah, in this game, it's, it is literally about, yeah, you can, you can take on bosses and stuff. And even the boss that you saw me fight on stage in the video, it's completely beatable. You just have to learn its patterns. It really is. It's it's very from soft of them. Yeah, it kind of is. Mm. Sorry, chat. Mm. I am sick. I folded it together, but you're gonna get me talking a ton. Can't breathe out of my goddamn nose. Okay. Oh, it's only me. Man, that dog is big. You trying to get yourself killed? It's not me who's been playing with fire. 
You don't do things by halves, do you? This way. This way. I enjoyed that environment. It was fun. It was really pretty, too. Makes me, like, really just want the PC so version, man. You are him who freed the bears. Who was it? <laughs> Good question. Someone who didn't have their hands full fighting a bloody harp here, I guess. But what matters is they're safe. Something they wouldn't be had it not been for you, Gav. Ah, just doing me job, like. So, uh, what about his dominant? Gone. And after we were so close. Well, uh, I can track him. Why would you? Sid told us about your family. Lost me on to Imperial Steel. Sometimes vengeance is the only thing that keeps you going. Thank you. Go safely, brothers. <laughs> I reckon he likes you. Organic characters. She's gone. She's gone. My lady, you have to hold on. We're going to get you. Go, go, go. What am I going to do with the Barnabas? How long to the coastal road? At this pace, we won't make it by sunset. He'll know. He'll cast me out like all the others. What am I going to do? What am I going to do? My lady. Carol. What do we have here? <laughs> Fetch a good price, I reckon. Well, we'd be doing the slavers a disservice if we didn't appraise <laughs> her work. Stay away! <laughs> <laughs> Oh god, they're British. It's all right. They can't hurt you anymore. Come on. Let's go home. Is this it, Sadolphus? My punishment for not listening to you? Whoa. So Clive got like a taste of it, not the whole thing. Sid. Do you feel it too? Garuda. By the flames. Too much 
Chitha. She can't control it. If Garuda isn't stopped, that vortex will swallow this whole forest, and us along with it. And I'll stop her. You'll stop her. I heard it again. Someone is calling me. Damn it, lad. That doesn't mean you have to listen. Well, I should have gone with you. <laughs> Cool. Clive, I don't think you understand. That's not just windy weather you're wandering into. Benedictus' rage knows no bounds. And that's on a good day. I don't want to know what's waiting inside that. But I do. I have to find out. But I also have to run down here and look to see if there's anything I can loot. I mean, it seems like the devs really want me to go over there. Right, but there's like... Explorable area down here. There's fish. Damn it. Move the plot, player. Yeah, right. see a lot of crazy things in the distance holy moly this is a big zone holy moly this is a big zone okay three forty three Uh, I think I'm going to clear out this board first. Yeah, I think this seems like the smartest bet. And, you know, let's also switch us back to uh, fighting mode. Wow. Hey, I see loot. Hey. There's stuff on the other side of this thing. Hey. Damn, these environments, though. Okay, get to it. It's unfortunate that I'm gonna have to kill every single one of these, right? It's unfortunate for y'all that every single one of these I'm gonna have to kill. No holding back. Come here, you. Shit! Don't worry, I'm getting good at it. There 
They're dying pretty quick. The visuals, right? The visuals. How am I feeling about the game? I'm having a great time. Now that I've gotten two icons, I'm having a great time. a magic counter or something against one of these things. That actually is a, a pathway up there to some place I can't go. Huh. Cool. Jesus, the delay on this is insane. God! all this loot. Open world or just large zones? Definitely just uh, very linear large zones, you know? It is not open world. Toasted. I gotta check out what's up here. I'm super curious. Something for later. No items at all. Dang it. way over there. <laughs> Whoa! Is there fall damage? The answer is no. Damn. 
Shit! Things are starting to die pretty quick. So, if I went back down here... I saw, like, an item on a shore. And I almost just want to go get it. Let's kill this last one right here. Five bucks! No holding back. <laughs> I can't believe I am not dodging that. Let's go. Cool. Let's, uh, yeah, I'm super curious. I want to run back right now. So we cleared this area out. Everything is dead. I should get the good ending. Game drops to 720p in some situations and it scales up. You know what? I'm not surprised it looks like it at times. I'm not gonna lie. There's there's parts in some of the combat where it's like, whoa, this has... This uh, resolution scaling has significantly dropped. I'm not even surprised. It looks very fuzzy. And other times it looks really good. It was a potion. Some dickheads over there. Huh. Oh, damn. Uh, that's the dragon's airy. Worth it. Five bucks? Worth it. So, these assholes on this side is where I gotta go. Where's the crossing? Right here. Yeah. I was done. Give me fire. Bye, guys. Get him, boy. Get him, boy. Dickheads over here, right? There's actually a lot of stuff to explore back here. I mean, not, not an absolute ton, but... Hey, move over here. Oh, man. Damn, that guy's uh, that guy's gonna have bad dental problems. Okay, figuring out some interesting combinations here. There's our box, which I apparently already got. We're just repopulating this with uh, dickheads now. Yeah. 
This is the same spot we were at before. This game is linear. It is not open world. Oh, but there is... Was this item here before? This is just going to be a potion. Two bucks! I should probably have some points to spend now, boys. Yeah, 450, and I don't have enough for this damn upgrade. Cool. big run. Getting Vindy. Their difficulty settings? A ton, technically. Yeah. Like a ton. They took every consideration they possibly could if you're not good at action games so that you can still play this. Tempest. <laughs> Don't worry about us. You've been waiting for this. Go! Sit! Forgive me. Awakening. Oh, shit. Hold on a second. Act of time lore. A man named Margris. A mysterious man that many believe to be a dominant of fire. He is rarely seen without his heavy robe, nor his loyal attendant. The two journey together far and wide across the realm to an unknown end. Warden of the Wind, who Benedicta transformed into uh, during her ill-fated flight uh, from the Empire. It takes form of a fateful, fearful harpy, summoning storms and tearing into the flesh of its prey with hawk-like talons, such as the Icon's Frenzy, for destruction that even allies of the dominant of the day are, are wont to begin fleeing. That even allies of the dominant of the day are wont to begin fleeing the battlefield when dark clouds gather overhead. All right. My brain had to process that for a second. Okay. Shit, dude, look at this. Holy hell. Where did he go? Goddamn atmosphere. Dude, Jesus. Wow, man. Whoa. I got I got scared. 
I actually got jump scared. Not that one. Not so much that one. Wow. Sorry. She's toying with me. God damn, the atmosphere. Holy shit. Oh, almost died. Don't worry about that. The near death experience. Hold on a second, I have to blow my nose, Clive. Chill, man. What I do like about this game is that it really gives you time to spend with your abilities, unlike action games, which kind of like move things along at a breakneck pace. I think it's kind of fun. You called me. Why? Let's go. Come here, you. Oh my God. Hell yeah. Ted K for the first time. 
Let's go. Let's not do that anymore. the damage. Another one in the head. Jesus. Pretty painful. That's one sharp ass sword.
sick. Melee ranged evade. Circle can be used to charge an enemy, covering great distance. All abilities available when body and free can be confirmed on the abilities tab. Oh, sick. Come back here, you. This is so cool. Hell yeah. Jesus. <laughs> Whoa! What a dodge. Cinematic dodge. You stop that. like that. Matching square on rock. Damage just in the tens of thousands. Shit. Holy shit. Oh my god.
just keeps going. Just scream at her. Scream at her. She's literally burning up. Yeah, she's toast. This chick is toast. <laughs> the music. All right. All right. Point blank hellfire is pretty cheap. Cool. <laughs> Control it, Clive. It is you, isn't it, Clive? Stop this now. He's fabulous, bitch. I said stop. just got judgment bolted it's like ow <laughs> ow you're too nice is your problem Oh my god, it's Los Angeles. It's all on fire. The ghost you've been chasing. It was inside you all along. <laughs> They'll be damned if I know what that means. They double backed on it. They made us think it was one thing and it wasn't that thing. Clive does still doesn't know. to listen to him. Banner. This can't be what you wanted, can it?
suddenly it's Lord of the Rings and a pre-rendered cutscene. Right? It's not pre-rendered. What the hell? The Royal Knights of Walud. Battle forces, also known as the King's Guard, while they ultimately answer the King Barnabas, the Knights' orders are usually issued by the Lord Commander. The Royal Intelligences Intelligeneers are a special unit led by Benedicta Harmon, dominant of Garuda. Are a notable. Well, she's not alive anymore. King is bold or desperate. Will you engage him personally, Your Highness? Of course. Grigor's breath fill your wings. Holy shit. Run, everybody! Oh, God! This seems unfair. It's Mohammed! The prince is with us! It's cooking. Form the cohorts. At once. Your Highness. Saboteurs. Their attacks are frequent and widespread, even in the Holy Capital. The capital? What of my father? His he... radiance is safe. He has ordered the city guard strengthened. We can expect no reinforcements. That is of no matter. The Emperor's safety is paramount. I shall deal with our enemies here. Wow. All right. Wow. Getting some quick peek at the other side of the planet, you know? It was me. I killed Joshua. His ass is naked. Give him some fucking pants. Where's his pants? Ah, you're awake. You're just full of surprises. First that trick with Garuda, then whatever the hell that other thing was. Didn't know you had it in you. Do it. Hey. It was me. I killed him. I killed Joshua. I killed them all. 
I'm a monster! And I deserve to die! So end it! End it! Oh, please! Please! Ah! <laughs> I reckon I can take you, if that's what you want. But first, I thought I'd give you the benefit of my timeless wisdom. It seems to me, you see, that since you're still breathing, you might as well make yourself useful. Get dressed. Pretty as you are, you're not my type. I'll, uh, see you in the hall. <laughs> Sid's been through this shit. certain times during the game that side quests will become temporarily unavailable until progress has been made through the main scenario. At such times, quest givers will be indicated with a lock. Interesting. May as well hear what he has to say. Don't go making me throw you back in there now, eh? I have to talk with Sid. I can't. I don't care about upgrading anything. Right. Killed his brother. Finally crawled out of the crypt, eh? You look like it. Although I thank you for doing us the courtesy of covering up. Don't. Well, oh, still have a bit of fight left in you. Then listen. I've arranged a meeting with Gav. In case you've forgotten, you're the one he's been putting his nose to work for. For nothing. Just listen. While you've been relaxing in your cell, Gav's been busy sniffing out your dominance. And according to his last report, he's picked up the scent. Gav's gone to a fair bit of trouble for you. The least you can do is hear the poor bugger out. He's going to meet us at the King's Fall. Pack your stuff. We'll leave as soon as you're ready. It's funny, it's like, I wonder where this is going now. Because other dominant, you know, still going after that guy, even though I'm clearly the the crazy asshole. Yeah. Give me one second, chat. I'll be right back. I need to go. Uh, excuse my nose. Ugh. A mess. Ugh. Okay. No. Yo, All Star, thanks for the seven months, dude. Ah, uh, Jesus. A hot mess. Nope, just a mess. Ugh. Is the fam still sick? Well, Jessica's just got a lingering cough. Uh, now I'm sick, you know? So it went Ripley for like a week. <clears throat> and then JJ for like a week. And Ripley was getting better. And now it's like me. And I'm in the middle of it right now. And these games won't stop coming out. You know? Okay. Let's go upgrade some equipment and stuff. Yes? What? Go on, then. 
Ooh. A bastard sword, eh? I got a lot of money. You'll not find a better price than that. Um that is significantly better. Uh the ability to channel Aether and amplify its effects. What? Like is this just flavor text? Or is this actual weird shit? I'm buying it. You're rubbing me blind, you know. 35. I think it's just flavor text. You'll not find a better price than that. Ooh, Rook's Gambit accessory. Cool. Come again. Or no, don't. I'm not much bothered either way. <clears throat> See, I'm busy here. So, will it be? What is that? What is that? Oh my god, you get... You get boss weapons? What? Maybe I don't need the bastard sword. Wow. No scratches, right? I have to take a look at that thing. Oh, and it can't be upgraded, though. <clears throat> I see. Cannot. Confused. What do I have equipped currently? Yeah, compare. I have the gold work sash, which apparently can't be reinforced. Weird. Unless I'm reading this wrong. Yeah, Anything it's fine. Else? Not like things have been like specifically difficult. Whoa, my weapon looks different, bruh. Check it out. I mean, let's get some friggin' light on it. It actually does look different. Cool. Super cool. Uh, no questicle testicles? That chocobo has something. This dude. <laughs> Got so many uses. Yours is not a familiar face. Are you new to the hideaway, perchance? You could say that. Well then, allow me to welcome you. I am Harpocrates the Second Hyperboreus. That's uh... <laughs> quite a mouthful, I know. Which is why everyone here has taken to calling me simply Tones on account of the uh, company I keep. And what varied company? I'm a collector, you see. Not of bijou and baubles, but of stories. The history and culture of these isles have ever been a source of endless fascination to me. But alas, my days of wandering the realm in search of new tales are Man of far lore. behind me. And so I've taken to sharing that which I've gathered with all who might listen. Perhaps you would care to listen. I have a few new notes that might interest you. I don't believe you've read this particular chapter before. This. Now this, I believe you will find most <clears throat> interesting. This is adorable. Oh my god, tomes, too much. How deep I went down there.
The dating system used throughout the twins, the, which marks the years of the realm that have passed since the signing of the Continental Accord some 800 years ago. In the centuries since, nations have risen and fallen, and the concord between them has faltered, but the calendar persists. <clears throat> what subject shall we consider today? Jesus. So, Belenus Tor was a conflict fought between the Holy Empire and Sanbrek, and the Kingdom of Walod in 873, having lost vital territory to Sanbrek forces eight years earlier. The Battle of the Twin Realms, the Waloders launched an assault on the Epon eponymous peak, looking to regain a foothold in the Imperial lands of the southern opposite side of the Strait of Autha. <clears throat> Both sides fielded their icons, and in the ensuing showdown, between Odin and Bahamut, an entire Sunbreak Legion was lost, and the Waloders regained their outputs, outpost on Storm. <sighs> One sec, chat. Ripley, what do you have for me? Wow. Thank you, sweetheart. Did you have fries earlier? My daughter just gave me fries, chat. <laughs> Those were <not> good. <laughs> Wanna say hi, sweetie? Ripley, come here. Ripley, come here. Oh, baby! <clears throat> say hi. Can you say hi? Can you say chat? Chat! Yeah. Um, Ripley, do you want a fry? Oh, no. What? Watch out. Hey. Yeah. It got nasty. Uh, you want some? No, actually, I shouldn't be getting her anything. Ripley, it's going to be your bedtime soon. You know that, right? Cannot be eating everything and uh, having chocolate. Yeah. Did she say hi, chat? Ripley, I got you fries earlier. What do you say? Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome, little baby. I taught her that this week, Chad. She picked up on the thank you. <laughs> okay. Damn, these are very good, actually. They're helping out a lot. <coughs> Ripley. <coughs> playing in a very adult Final Fantasy here. Very adult. <laughs> I don't know if you'll be able to handle all this. Too exciting. What do you want to say to the chat? What you want is a French fry. Still. It's not hot. You dropped it. It wasn't hot at all. Here you go. It was barely warm. No, it's not. <laughs> not that hot. Oh my god. I ordered her fries earlier, chat. It was the only way I can get her to hang out for a while while dad goes away. Stream. I'm like, if you hang out down here, I'll get you french fries. And she's like, okay. It's completely fine with it. And then they got, you know, old like an hour ago, then an air fryer brought them all back to life. I am so brain fogged right now, dude. I'm so brain fogged from this from this sickness. I can barely read straight. Like, no kidding. It was actually hard. Did you go toot toot? Yeah. <laughs> was that me? Yeah. Okay, that was me. Sorry. Was that you? Yeah. Okay. All right, you want to get down? Yeah. Okay, here you go. Yeah, there's a fry. Can you throw that away? Thank you. Yeah, it was Dad that did it. I did it. Sorry, chat. Hold the sieve. 
What's your arcade machine? Hold on. Coming. Put it on. Are you kidding me? Ripley. You don't need to be a streamer, it's okay, honey. <laughs> you talking to that. <laughs> wow. Can you, say, can you say mommy? Mommy. Very good. Very good, honey. Can I get down? On. On. It's on. Yeah. Here, come here. I don't know how she grew up so fast. I don't know what happened yet. <laughs> Sorry. That mic was faced directly in this direction. <laughs> Sorry. Headphone users. All destroyed today. <laughs> And as it usually goes, Ripley was the first one to get sick. And then we all got sick after. All of us. Everybody got sick after. <clears throat> this is how it goes. <clears throat> actually, she was sick a couple weeks ago when he didn't get sick. Yeah, she was actually sick a couple weeks ago. Am I feeling? Um, uh, shitty. I can barely read. Like, no joke. The sentence structure of a lot of the flavor text in this game, I have to, like, concentrate when I'm reading it. It's not structured in a way that is, like, normal. It's meant to be, like, ye old style. So I'm like... Huh? Okay, sorry chat. I'm gonna continue. The door to the shelves shall ever be open. That's actually really cool. It's a neat little bonus. I like that it levels up. Oh my god. Yeah, I'm really enjoying the game so far. I'm really enjoying it. We're only like a few hours in, technically. <clears throat> After the demo stuff, you know? That is drink ketchup, yes. Like it better than 15 so far? Uh, yeah. I think so. I mean, yeah. This is actually a, uh... Ridiculously polished game. It seems very polished. had its charm. I agree. Thank you for the salad, honey. 
Watch your ponytail, sweetie. Yeah, your hair. I like it. You're very pretty. Don't you say? You say thank you. If somebody gives you a compliment and says you're pretty or your hair is nice, you say thank you. Not piggy noises. <coughs> oh, I'm sorry, honey. Um, Can we come up? And that's my phone. Go ahead, just lock me out of my phone. Oh. Yeah, 15's complete story is actually really good. Uh -oh. <laughs> okay, Ripley. Not right now, okay? Later. You have to wait. Thank you. Yeah, you have a ponytail. Oh, you want me to get the arcade stick for you? Ripley. Hold on a second, let me just finish these fries. Yeah, 15 didn't get good till much later. Okay. Play. Yeah, the blue button's missing. Don't worry about that. Fries. Hold on a second, chat. Uh oh, Ripley. Yeah, I won't eat these. Yeah. Okay. Those are yours. Wanna take them? <clears throat> this little girl loves French fries. That's for sure. But what kid doesn't? Gotta make sure that they're a treat and not nutrition. Yeah, you excited with fries? You like your fries? <clears throat> yeah. Oh. Yeah. Played it for 10 hours already? Whew, damn. You don't know what it is about McDonald's fries with their top tier. Well, they're chemically engineered, right? <clears throat> they're they're like designed in a lab, which is why. Ain't nobody cutting like these things were a potato like <clears throat> months ago, you know. So they're like designed to taste a specific way to be warmed up a certain way. So they turn into crack. They're designer fries. It's exactly what they are. Yeah, you, if you think you're eating potatoes, you're not really. Not really. Oh, God. Chad, the one, if you don't want to have McDonald's ruined for you. And if you have like a, a, a not sensitive stomach, you know, you can handle it. <clears throat> but if you've ever seen the pink paste, you know exactly what I'm talking about. <clears throat> if you've ever seen the video and they don't, they don't talk about it anymore. It, it became a lot more notorious like 10 years ago when they were like, hey, you know, our chicken nuggets now have 
way more actual chicken. They literally advertise that. So like, <clears throat> now made with with more chicken. It, yeah, they, it was marketed as that. So JJ saying it was marketed as our chicken nuts now made with real chicken. And it was like, wait, what? What were they before? Wait, wait, what? <clears throat> yeah, they had to add more chicken to it because, you know, yeah. You wanna, you're gonna fall? Yeah. You wanna get down? Uh, okay. No, no. No, no. Okay. You know, so they essentially uh, are okay. like all, uh, uh, all done, all gone. Uh, uh, they were like a uh, really distinct uh, pink paste guys? that's fried up. No, there's no more. No, those are Aki. Those fell. Those aren't good, honey. Aki. They fell. Just trash. Okay. Trash. The other one that I that I always knew was true was uh, you know the old dollar menu uh Wendy's fr w Wendy's chicken nuggets. They're like not good anymore. I swear they're like they're like bad now. I used to like them. Um, but. They found out that the Wendy's chicken nuggets <clears throat> are like 85% water. And it's like, yeah, I knew that. You bite into them and they're like fluffy. They're like insanely fluffy. So whatever concoction they're using. Oh my God, Ripley, what is this Cirque du Soleil? That is my wallet. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, 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 can I have that back? Can I have that back? No, no. Give me that wallet back. Give me that wallet back. You're gonna get tickled in three, two, one. Three, two, one. Can I have that wallet back? You're gonna get tickled in three, two, one. Uh. You know, and you know what the one that got me the most, and I still like them, and I'm kind of like okay with it. Uh oh, Ripley, that goes in there. You're, you're dropping stuff. The stuff Dad needs to see with his eyes. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Huh? Not get that on the five bucks I have in my wallet. Yeah. Ripley, you're so tired. Oh, my God. Um, Jack in the Box tacos, chat. Right? Oh Jesus. Jack in the Box tacos. I still like them, but I know that there's no actual meat. There's no beef. There's no pork. There's no ground turkey. There's no ground chicken. Uh, they're they're soy, apparently. Yeah, they're like made out of soy or something like that. It's just like grease and soy. You mean the shells? No, 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 like the Jack in the Box tacos. And they're pretty good. They're, they're, they are like the best stoner food slash like still cheap food. Is that bad? Not really. There's not a lot of nutrition in them, obviously. But, you know, Taco Bell meat's also soy meat too. Yeah, it's the same shit. They're good, right? They're still tasty, but whatever, like, the meat that's in them is not really meat at all. I don't know if it's vegan. I don't think it is. I think the grease definitely has some meat in it, you know? I don't know about Del Taco. I'd like to think Del Taco is somewhat actual food at some point in its life. But yeah, like Jack in the Box tacos, I still get cravings for, man. I feel like I still get cravings for Jack in the Box tacos and uh, their hot sauce just because, you know, I can't I can't help it. Sometimes I'll just get that. OK, I don't think we have anything else to do here. Oh, my God, my nose. 
Come on. Gav will be waiting for us. Get your stuff together. Am I a Taco Bell fan? Not really. I like some things at Taco Bell. Uh, Nacho Supreme is like my favorite thing. But... You like Maxi Melts? Yeah, JJ always is like Maxi Melts. Um, I don't know. I haven't had Taco Bell in a very long time. Very long time. World map. Where's Gab hanging out at? Oh, I can't go anywhere. Damn. We are hard locked to the King's Fall. The only thing I do like, and is like, man, like tied to childhood type shit. Um, what are the cinnamon twists? Cinnamon twists. Yeah, cinnamon twists. I don't feel like they're as good as they used to be, but that's mostly because my taste buds have probably changed. I'm just blowing my nose. Oh. Please making fun of me. Okay, let's do this. Four years as a vegan it changed your taste bugs radically. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. That's what happened to, um, uh, Penn from Penn and Teller. Not so long ago, this here was a thriving trade route. Then the blight came. The people left. And just like that, it was deserted. Making it the perfect little shortcut. Gab's waiting for us up ahead. Come on. Feel bad for Clive. Still feeling sorry for yourself? <laughs> Don't. Please, think about it, Clive. The rumors all point to... That was an Imperial signal. They shouldn't be here. The old fort's been abandoned for years. Our little chat can wait. I need to see what the bastards are up to. You go on ahead and meet up with Gav. But we both know that... No buts about it. Yeah, Sid feels like he's been in this situation or something. Oh, is this the first time I can actually pet Torgal? The music, dude. After it. I get what they're doing here. Yeah, I get what they're doing here. They're trying to like the, the music and everything. Putting Torgal right there is trying starting to like convince, you know, Clive as a character that life is still worth this living. Is stupid. I'm the dominant of fire. We sent Gal for <clears throat> a wild goose chase. This is going somewhere. <clears throat> I think this is one hundred percent one of those moments right here where this is seven twenty P. Upscaled. Yeah, for sure. Ooh, spooters. Right. It still looks very nice, but... Uh... This is one of those moments. Apparently, Digital Foundry was going into the guts of the game and found out that, yeah... It no- no shit will drop the- the resolution to... 720p. <clears throat> to hit- to hit performance stuff, so it's still getting worked on. 
this looks insanely soft. Especially when I move the camera, it looks really soft. These crabs or spiders? Why do they have to be spiders? Oh my god. Terrifying. Then that goes really far. Holy hell. Really goddamn far. Here's the thing, the game, I do wish the performance of the game was better, for sure. However, I think visually, character model-wise, effects and environments, <clears throat> this shit's pretty crazy looking, you know? Like, they're actually pushing next gen a bit, at least, at least in my opinion. It feels like they're making this PlayStation 5 work hard for this. <coughs> Excuse me. How did you get so big? How did you get so big? Okay, here you go. Ripley, do you want to play? Yeah. Okay, here. Let's run around here, okay? Go ahead, play. Use this one. These ones right here. Use this one. This one. No, 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 not, not that. Okay, there goes that. Don't need those healing potions. Wow. Uh-oh. Can't press that. There you go. Wow, where did you go? You shooting? Very good, honey. Is that a doggy? What did doggy say? Yeah. Tired? Are you a little sleepy? Oh, you want to go to bed? Tired though. You look tired. Wow. Oh, big one. Wow. Very good. Try not to use my final high potion, honey. The game won't let you. Good. You look. Jump. Look at jump is right there. Jump is right there. That one. Jump, see? There's the hit button right here. Yeah, there you go. Can you can you jump, Ripley? Jump. Jump. There you go. Very good. Now hit. No 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 no. Hit the hit button is right here. There you go. Now jump. Very good. Now do magic. This one. Very good. Now jump. 
and do magic. Very good. Very good, honey. You're good at this. The, uh, you know, comes over with the arcade stick and says, play, play. Uh oh, <clears throat> she's like, play. Hey, sweetie. Hey, can I have that back now? Yeah, you're pressing a lot of buttons right now. Very impressive, Ripley. Okay. Ripley, can I continue the playthrough? Huh? Hey, little baby. Little, little baby. She said share. She says, no, Dad, you need to share. Can you share with Dad? Hey, I shared with you. Can you share with me? Share. Share. Making me sad, Ripley. I don't want to be sad. Can you share? Ripley, can you share? I'd like to I'd like to try it too. Is that a doggy? Yeah. Hey Ripley, you're going the you're, yeah, Ripley. You're, you're like <laughs> charging that fire attack. <laughs> little baby. Oh, little baby. Okay, hold on a sec. Hold on a sec, honey. Scary guy. A minotaur. Oh, Ripley. Okay. All right. You want to get out? Scary. I know. It's scary. Oh my God. So stuffed up. Okay. Here we go. Holy moly. God. Okay, Ripley. Thank you. No, I'm good, honey. Ripley. No, not right now. Come here, you. Ugh. Oh my god. Gorgle? Get all this multiplier. God. Got you. Let's get a good counter on this guy. There we go. There we go. Dope. Charge blade is so sick. That was fun. Yeah, it was all melee. Ooh, Minotaur main for crafting. Okay. Cool. Casual Minotaur. to a nest of bloodthirsty beasts. No oh, map here, okay. <clears throat> bye bye, Ripley. I'm really loving these environments, right? 
They're simple, but Jesus, as I say this, this perfect bird goes flying by, you know? <clears throat> you know what I'd say in, in moments like this where you see the resolution like actively drop to like 720p or some shit? Oh my god, I have 800 points? Bruh. <clears throat> Uh, I think this is probably better for this, you know? Yeah. Yeah, it looks better. That damn motion blur, though. Oh my god. This would be a headache. This is just my backyard, yeah. Minnesota. The environmental design here is actually fantastic. It's over. A lot of dead hornets. It's over. So sick, man. So much fun. I like it that it, it feels different than Devil May Cry. It's got like similar similar elements, but well not being the exact same. You like that, don't you? That's where we need to go. But what's over here? A dead spider. Yeah, there's a lot of polish in this goddamn game, that's for sure. I just... It feels like they're actually going too ham on performance stuff if they're got all this RTX on and everything. <clears throat> they're very proud of the visual fidelity of the game, you know? I get it. But it's like, to me, 60 FPS feels like it was definitely an afterthought. The game was designed for 30, <clears throat> you know, which is crazy. Oh, come on. oh my god. Let me through. Holy shit. Okay, Torgle. Holy good dumb shit. No. Did that, did that monster, that spider, just literally throw a thing at the perfect time? Yeah! 
All right, we're surviving. We are surviving. Not dead. Not dead. Very close to being dead. <sighs> better already. That is better. Let's pop all of these now. Refuse to use them in fight. Just a refusal. 30 FPS mode, though. How does it look on your guys' end? Does it look better on the higher resolution? Or is it just about the same either way? Looks crisper. Yeah, it should. 30 frames will look more crisp. Same but less frames, yeah. Probably won't look that much different on stream. I agree. Damn it. Yeah, the motion blur is really noticeable at 30. That's my problem with it. Shit. Gaff. Who goes there? This one's a dessert. Take his head. The costume. You Gentlemen. Made your choice. Don't get him. Get away. Oh, damn, the Imperial Captain is dead. What? What? Oh god. The dragoon has his friggin' pet. There he is! Don't let him escape! Holy shit. Holy shit. Thank you, Sid. Situation. You're late. Captain Trouble. What? The Imperials are on his tail. We have to get to him before they do. Understood. I'm here to even the odds. Any objections? I'll take the dragon. You take the dragoon. Shit. Damn it. Go.
I did that on purpose. A little help. This dude's got some health on him. Barrage dive? Oh shit. This bitch leveled up! Since when could these bastards fly? Oh, no, so. Must come down. I don't, I don't, I don't. Bloody time waster. Come on, let's finish him off. There we go. Yeah. That was a cool, cool ass ability. He started spamming us. What a bitch. This game is fucking fun. Holy hell. I'm starting to really feel it. I'm really feeling it. Come on. Sit's about to use the game genie. doesn't have your nose, I said. He'd stumble off a cliff, I said. That's a trouble with a nose like mine. Can't help sticking it where it's not wanted. But if it wasn't for you two, my sniffing days would be over. Thank you. Truly. So, what news? Well, I uh, found out where your friend's heading, for one thing. Gav. I... Him and his mate are on their way to your old stomping ground, Rosaria. You should have seen what they did to the Imperials who tried to stop them. There's no question about it. He's a dominant fire, all right. He can't be. Clive, 
I saw you turn into an icon before my very eyes. And yes, there's a good chance it was you who killed the Phoenix. But we weren't alone, were we? It was the fellow you saw enter the whirlwind. I... I saw him too. You didn't dream it, Clive. He's out there. But... who is he? Don't ask me. I don't bloody know. But I do know one thing. You're gonna find him and find out. After all, you swore an oath. What? You swore you'd avenge your brother's death. That you'd never rest until you'd hunted down the man responsible. So? Find out if this man's responsible, and kill yourself if he's not. Sid, I... Don't thank me. Thank Gab. <laughs> thank you, Gav. Yeah, I am. No birds returning this year. The deadlands have swallowed their roosts, like as not. We're running out of time. We'll be in Rosaria in a day or two. Back to where it all began. They are like we all saw this coming. There's too many hints. He must be stopped. Yeah. We all knew. We knew. There, there's too many there's too much blood in the water, right? Clive's brother is alive. Joshua is alive. We knew. But here's the weird part, right? Here's the weird part is Clive saw the hooded figure before Joshua died, right? So, I mean, I'm, I'm not asking you to have any input. I'm just thinking aloud right now, so I don't want to even read any, anybody's thoughts. All I'm saying is that the hooded figure was present when Joshua was killed. So, what the hell? Something, Something's aloof. I'm not even going to read the chat. I'm not even going to... I'm not even going to read the chat. I'm just going to let the story hit me in the face and I'll, uh, I'll butt chug it as it comes along. Have a seen a volcano? You think I'm having you on? Clive! Your friend! She's awake! Right. Go to her, you fool. <laughs> right, you lot. Enough slacking. Goots, come with me. Gav, go and get those wounds seen to. Oh, oh, give it to me straight. How long have I got? <laughs> so, all in good time. Let's make ourselves scarce. <laughs> Jill. I absolutely love it, right? And I, I even told the Square Enix guys this, and I, you know, they're aware because they've done it on their their last couple of huge games now, right? That FF7 remake and Final Fantasy 16 is one of the first few times in Square Enix's history where localization was 100% simpatico with game development, right? where how character portrayals would be portrayed wasn't just, you know, in Japanese and then we'll turn it into something else, right? We're going to turn it into Portuguese. We're going to turn it into English. We're going to turn it into, like, no. 
from the very concept of the game, this is going to be a huge priority, right? It's not an afterthought. Um, and 14 is obviously a good example of that for sure, but we're talking like the big, you know, focused, giant releases. FF7 Remake, and it's, you know, DLC and this. Dude, the localization's incredible. Like, I can't even believe that this is a Square Enix game compared to like most other Square Enix games that exist or have existed. And hearing the ways those characters talk, I, I feel like FF15 was the beginning where it was pretty good. I thought FF15 did have pretty good dialogue and characters. So that was like the start of it. But especially with like the characterization and localization in 7 Remake and this, these characters are great. They are wonderful. It's like, oh my god, dude, this is... This is genuine, they feel like real people now. Isn't the Moogle funny? <laughs> they even have a Moogle. I've never seen one in the flesh. Well, here I am, so drinking in Koopo. I'm sure it's said in my father's bestiary that they live deep in the forest. And that they never reveal themselves to humans. Cute. He knows his stuff, but what he doesn't know is that Nectar the Bold is no ordinary what Moogle Koopo. Clive. You understand Moogle tongue? <laughs> so it would seem. Finally! <laughs> Mock Moogle! Thanks for the 10 gift subs! Very appropriate. I've tried to talk to people ever since the winds carried me here, but none of them understand a word I say. I've been banging. Oh no! Painful. But now you're here, pom pom safe at last. You can hear me. You can actually hear me, Koopo. For some reason, I know Moogle tongue. Don't know why. That's odd. It's a 14 Moogle? Got swept away from, you know, completely different game. Yeah, it's probably icon related, just connected to the earth. Yeah. But Sid's fault. He tied it too tight. There's nothing wrong with it. Stop moaning. <laughs> it's nice to see the hideaway finally coming alive. Yeah, Mr. Krabs. So long ago, us old hands were rattling about the place like peas in a bucket. <laughs> what about me money? <laughs> <laughs> We can change the music in the hideout. The sound of silence is just silence. <laughs> the sound of silence is just silence, is <laughs> nothing. So we can change the music in here, it's cool. What's up here? This game's pretty great, man. I'm really, really, really getting into it now. I'm really feeling it. Okay, hold on a sec. I'm still looking around. Uh, let's talk to Jill. It's true then. It really is you. Sorry, I beat the shit out of you. It is. Your life. So are you. I still can't believe it. Are your wounds healed? Yes. Thaya told me what happened. 
You saved my life. After nearly taking it, I had no idea. Forgive me, but how did you ever come to be there, Jill? Fighting for them. The Iron Blood. They invaded not long after the news arrived about Fink's Gate. Rosaria had lost her leaders. The Duchy was in chaos. The Iron Kingdom saw our weakness and pounced upon it. They killed the men and captured the women. And took you back to Iron Home. I thought they meant to have their fun with me before the end. But the end never came. My powers awoke and everything changed. It all happened so fast. We were told that the Iron Blood had captured a dominant and planned to bring her on their latest crusade. Mm. They gave me a choice. To fight for them on the battlefield, or... ...see my countrywomen slaughtered. And they call us dominance. What? <sighs> what happened to Clive? What happened at Phoenix Gate? Story. It was me. I killed Joshua. No, that's not true. I know you, you wouldn't do that. It's the truth. I changed into him again, not long ago. The second icon of fire, the one responsible. Clive. When I think back to that night. The hooded man. He, he spoke to me. God damn, the character and facial animations. Jesus. What did he say? Sarsis. What did he mean? Clive, we should go back there, to Phoenix Gate. I need to know what really happened, and so do you. You need to know for certain. And if what you told me is true, and you did what you said you did, then we will face it together. Jill, I... All right. You'll be needing a change of clothes then. Out you go, your lordship. We wouldn't want you getting overexcited. Uh, sorry. I'll see you soon then, Clive. Rude. I should be ready too. We have a long journey ahead of us. I thought I told you to make yourself scarce. Your friend needs to get dressed. Story's great so far, man. It's not over indulgent or over complicated. That a lot of JRPGs Someone will sort of fall into. Relatively easy to follow. You know? To keep it simple. Which is just sometimes, in my opinion, I like. That, that's what this kind of game kind of feels like to me. Like, personally, I like ideas and fiction that are simple, but well executed. It's a reason I like James Cameron shit, right? And all of his movies are relatively simple, but their execution is just on another level. Uh, and that's what this feels like. 
Like at, at this point in Final Fantasy 15, much less Final Fantasy 13, dude, I have no idea what the fuck is going on. Much less Final Fantasy 12. I barely have any clue what any character's relationship is to anybody in that game at that time. So just going back like several Final Fantasies, you know, in the mainline series, they're kind of hard to follow. It's it's very like, where, what's going? Where? Why are we doing this? What's happening now? Like, who's who? Yeah, 15 takes a while for the story to eventually kick in. Like, you have to get almost out of the open world parts of it. So what I what I kind of like about this is that it's everything about the game is relatively simple and focused. It's not trying to overcomplicate things. And what it's doing, gameplay-wise, world-wise, and story-wise, all feels very coherent. We want to we wanna create something that's easy to follow, engaging enough to keep you going, focuses on gameplay and combat, but they don't add too many crazy things. And, and in fact, they actually take away a lot of the RPG-ness of it. Chat, there's no like crazy modifiers to stuff, right? Like the most most RPG RPG ish things I get is stuff like this. These favor of fire things. The rest of it's pretty simple. Not that many equipables. Not that many stats. It seems focused, right? RG RPG ness <laughs> RG penis. Uh, anyway, that's all I'm getting out of this so far. Is that this game is this game knows what it wants to be. And it isn't trying to be something else. It's it's really going for this, like, focused sort of simple storytelling, refined gameplay, instead of trying to be several other different things. Less is more sometimes. It really is true. Uh, hang on a second. I want to buff out... Uh, damn, Phoenix Shift, though. Shift Distance. Really, dude? Heat wave is 620 points. So, okay, I need to get Rook's Gambit because I love it. Uh, I have to buy this. Because it's a physical counter and it turns into Virgil shit. I love this menu, how it literally is the, uh, the screenshot in time. Okay. I'll show you the Virgil shit later. Let's check out this side quest. Newcomer, I need help. What's the matter? It's my assistant. She left to gather soil, and I've seen nothing of her since. I cannot concentrate one whit for fear of what might have happened. Please, I beg of you, will you go and check? I have to know. All right, I'll go. Marvelous. Thank you. You'll be rewarded for your time, of course. What? Whereabouts is she? Gotan's Bales. It's on the outskirts of Lostwig. Not the safest place for an unaccompanied bearer, perhaps. But the soil there is second to none. Now go, and do not linger. Why, it may already be too late. Dur -dur 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 -dur. Oh, there's another side quest in here. Oh, what I wouldn't give for some wild Mickey berries. You should speak to Master Barnell. Your wounds are healed right enough, but I'd still suggest you rest. Well, if that's what the doctor orders. Ah, oh, glad to see the color back in your cheeks. <laughs> that's one less thing to worry about. This thing at. We're looking at half a dozen, maybe more. 
just I do like this conversational thing they took from FF7 remake you know when you contextual like uh proximity chatting and stuff ah Clive I trust you're settling in gradually getting used to the place I'm glad to hear it I was hoping you might be persuaded to come to my aid once more. Your services will be rewarded, of course. I don't doubt it. Oh, thank you, Ezio. Seems to be the way around here. We strive to be better than those we once served. Now, as to the task itself, I am once again in need of a pair of hands to deliver sustenance to our esteemed companions. I have three meals for three industrious souls. What say you? Again? I'd be happy to help. Marvelous. The three individuals you'll be seeking out are busying themselves about the hideaway. I gotta give, um, find one by the entrance Clive's voice actor and the other a lot of credit. Cells. Thank you once again, Clive. 20s Clive sounds nothing like 16-year-old Clive, right? 16-year-old Clive, he's like, everyone's like, oh, he sounds too old for his age. But in comparison to 20s Clive... 16 year old Clive is like a baby. Yeah, Ben. They sound way different. There. What? These things are in some weird places. Okay. So soon? Fancied another kip in the cells, did you? Can they send me? He thought you might be hungry. He wasn't wrong. The way my gut's been growling, I'd have curls running scared. <laughs> curls. I always that call them corals. Can't be much fun. It's not. But sometimes folk need locking up, and someone has to watch over them. I help people sleep at night, and that's not a boast many can make. You keep yourself on the right side of these bars now, you hear me? It's funny, once the game starts growing on you, I actually want to do these cheesy side quests, you know? No, I actually want to hear what people are saying. The tattoos on their face mean they're branded. Uh, you can find out about it in all of this stuff. Kenneth sent me. They're pretty much lesser humans. They're like slaves. Ah, Your Uber wonderful. Eats is here. Do you hear that? Our food has arrived. Does your appetite still elude you? Is he sick? <sighs> I'm afraid so. Those no longer in need of a physica's immediate ministrations are sent here for further rest. I tend to those who cannot tend to themselves, which leaves me very little time for anything else. Happily, Kenneth sees that I stay fed. I would be lost without the kindness of good people. And they're not like exactly tarnished. And yourself. They Thank literally you. have like magic abilities. Think of like 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 if they were like benders, like water benders and fire benders and stuff from Avatar. But if they were specifically right. used for those abilities, right? Which seems almost backwards, right? That like, yeah, usually the benders would have more power, or the magic users would have more power. But in in this world, um, anybody that has that inherent ability is branded with the thing on their face, and they have an inherent connection to magic. But they're they're kind of like used like cattle. And the point of the story so far. Uh, with this place is that, you know, there should be an equality. There, there should be equality with the ways that, uh, the world is treating these people. Uh, hold on a sec. Ooh, something smells good. For me, I hope. It is. Courtesy of Kenneth. Brand was because it was made like fodder so soldier or something? No. 
Oh, my thanks. No. These birds are needy creatures. They don't like me running off to the fat chocobo behind their backs. <laughs> they must keep you busy. Ah, there's never a moment's rest. Probably for the best I eat down here, reeking of the staples as I do. I'd only put people off their food. And who has time to wash and dress for dinner when they've got little darlings like these to wait upon, eh? Anyway, thanks for the food, and be sure to give Kenneth my regards. I think that's everyone. I better let Kenneth know. The side quests are like FF11 side quests. You know? Ah, you're back. All done? Wonderful. Here, your reward, as promised. The hideaway is quite something. Everyone has their place. A fact we are proud of, believe me. I'm glad you've witnessed it for yourself. You have your place too, of course, as you have just so capably proven. And you will always have a place with us, should you desire it. It's kind of you to say so. It is the truth, and not a soul among us would deny it. I look forward to all that you will bring to our little community. Well, that actually gave me experience. Funny. What do you want? To say farewell. We're leaving. Good decision. Better that than buried out there in the black. You've got a lot to thank that girl for, you know. I know. And I will. <coughs> now, what do you really <coughs> want? We both know you don't come here for conversation. What is that? Gaia blade. Really? Rehehele. I can afford it. Oh, sh shit. It's good. You'll not find a better price than that. Can I Off upgrade you go, it? Then. I'm best of luck. I should probably say thank you to Gav, too. Doesn't look as good. Make it quick. So, will it be? Uh, the bastard sword? Damn, the Gaia Blade is powerful. You can thank me later. Yes, it certainly is. Yeah, that should do you. I need Valley Matter. Damn it. Not my best work, but it'll do. Anything else? Bye bye. So your mind's made up, is it? We'll be leaving for Rosaria as soon as we're able. Back down memory lane, eh? Rosaria ain't what she used to be, Clive, and not since the Imperials moved in. First sign of trouble, you make straight for Martha's rest and ask for the landlady. She's a friend of the cause. Tell her you was Sid, and she'll help you out. Understood. Thank you, Gav. Yeah. I'd be lost without you. Yeah, I'm just doing my job. No need to make <laughs> such a fuss. You take care. 
All right. Oh, I'm crap at goodbyes. Where's Sid when you need him? Give him my regards when he gets back. I will. Sorry to keep you waiting. Ready, my lady? Ready. Feels like the game's kind of starting. <clears throat> right? That's what it's feeling like right now. Ah, yeah, so this is... Okay, so I've played this zone. This is the, uh... I guess the first area you go to. This was in my early pre preview demonstration. Um... And yeah... Makes sense that this is like the first spot where you get a little bit of, uh... A little bit of openness. A little bit of availability. Go around.